Hello and welcome to the Lake Forest Academy where it's day one of the Crystal Palace tour here in the United States. Uh, Brighty, first impressions of, of the Chicago facilities. Lovely, really nice. Um, I thought it was a donation from the parents and the, um, the pupils of the class of 92 or something like that. So, as you know, lots of space, good facility, two pitches back to back, sprinklers, so obviously needed. Pitches are very dry, it's very warm. And yeah, nice. And um, what about the weather? We're training, uh, it's around midday at the moment. It's not too hot, is it? It's, it's not too bad. There's a lot of cloud cover, isn't there? And um, so it's not too bad. And there's a little breeze as well. So that keeps the players um, cool. But yeah, it's, it's pre-season, Christopher. It's summer. Well, that's the weather report. You get that for free. Uh, let's talk about football now. Let's talk about pre-seasons. Your memories of, of pre-season trips away. So long ago. Um, under Steve... We used to go to um, Sweden, so Steve liked like um, 10 days, five games, everybody starts, you know, 45, whatever, and then you play. Um, the opposition would probably be from lower league, but he wanted to integrate the, the new signings, the camaraderie, and get what we do, how we play. Um, so often some of the games would be nine or 10 or whatever, um, but it was the legwork he wanted. Um, everyone stretched themselves. And so, yeah, so mainly there used to be Sweden, Norway, um, I don't really ever remember coming stateside, well we didn't, After, at the end of the season 92, 90, 1990, we played at Trinidad and Tobago, Cayman Islands and um, Jamaica on an end of season trip, so that, that was the extent of my year is playing at football abroad. And what point will the players be at at the moment in, in terms of fitness, I guess I'm pretty sure Roy said the, the Watford game was the, the, the start of pre-season for him really. Well, the, the opposition goes up, doesn't it? So, um, obviously, we've three games in. The, the, everything improves. The passing improves. The weight of pass. The movement. The awareness. It all starts to come back to you. As you know, this is what this is what preseason's all about. Um, so, yeah, you you think the place are getting near it now? Obviously, Molinera is, is going to be a tougher opponent. But um, yeah, we're getting there. And so, um, you, you, as you move towards the start of the season, you have to feel like you're in a good good place to compete. Um, you might not feel like you're in a good place to do 90 minutes because you have to get through all those the, the, towards the end of the game, those last 10, 15 minutes where you have to push yourself. Um, and this is what happens. But we have good squads and so lots of people get taken off and get rested. Players like to have 90 minutes, a few 90 minutes before you start the season. You feel more comfortable. We've got some fan events to go to. You're looking forward to seeing all those Palace fans. It's normally a good night, isn't it? Yeah, we, as, as we've seen, when we've gone abroad, we went to Singapore and, and Perth and Melbourne, it was unbelievable. You just, you, it always surprises you when you see sort of like a, a big palace following when you're miles away. But, you know, the, the Premier League football travels far and wide and people pick a team and support us. And I think we're grateful expats go and move to different countries and, um, yeah, start off sort of like a fan clubs. So, yeah, it's always nice to go and just answer questions, do a you know, Q&A and just mingle and sign a few autographs, take a few pictures, Christopher. And I think what I noticed at the airports is just how many people know Crystal Palace now. Mm. When we, were, I know, obviously we're yeah. in we're in fluorescent gear with the Corner. Palace badge on, but the yeah. amount of people that are just like, oh my god, it's Crystal yeah. Palace more than the last time we came here. Yeah, I didn't have the tracksuit on, so I was walking kind of behind the team. But you hear when they come past, they say that's Palace. The international stars, obviously, the brand goes far then, and um, that's what you want to do: get supporters all over the world. It's a good chance here for some of the young players. Let's give uh, a little rundown for those people that don't know about the, the three younger players on this trip because you're, you're the loans manager. They all had successful yeah. loans last year, didn't they? Yeah, really good. Start with Jake O'Brien. Um, we went to uh, Molenbeek and um, it, the, the full name is Racing White Daring Molenbeek. Um, yeah, and they got promotion to the, to the top flight and... Um, he was, um, he was instrumental, the coach said to me, without him we wouldn't, we wouldn't have done it. Um, he ended up fracturing his cheekbone and in, you know, a broken bone in his face. At the end of the season, then he played the last couple of games he, with a mask on. Um, yeah, so really, really great introduction to, to that for him. Uh, John Kamani Gordon ended up playing at Wembley in the, uh, in the playoff final for Carlisle um, and getting promotion. So... You know, his first loan from January to the end of the season was hugely successful. Scored some goals, played in the team, come back for the, the, the last two games because he got suspended. And, um, yeah, got, got Carlisle promoted and uh, back into League One and um, played a pivotal part. And then we had... Jez Raksaki. Jez. Jez, what can you say? Went to Charlton, um, 15 goals and 10 assists. 
really good data, you know, really good appearances, 44 starts, something like that, you know, virtually played all the games. Um, just performed week in and week out and I think got himself in a good place. I'm so pleased to see him on the tour, you know. Um, all three guys have done really well. Jez was two-time football um, um, player of the year for Charlton. Um, um, I think Banksy was player of the year. Um, Killian was young player of the year. So, you know, four or five of the guys who went out on loan got recognised, you know, and Jez was nominated for player of the year for the league as well. So, um, yeah, he's with the first team and it's up to him to grab this opportunity to impress the manager. And um, hopefully he stays with the group and can be part of our, our season moving forward. If not, then the next step is to go higher and on your loan and... Um, and then you know, then you feel a championship loan would be would make him, and um, he'd be ready. And finally, final question: uh, We're in Chicago. Yeah. Are you going to be trying the famous deep dish Chicago pizza, or do you stick to a, still stick to a strict footballer's diet? <laughs> it's a loaded question. <laughs> of course, it's a loaded pizza. <laughs> when you listen, when you in Rome, do what the Romans do. So we're going to try, it, aren't we? Yeah. We'll 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 get through one eventually. We'll give it a go. Thank you very much, uh, club legend Mark Bright. And don't forget, you can watch both the games on Palace TV+.